those of you that have been following along with the build know that this two inch drop receiver was only ever meant to be a temporary solution. The more we get off road, the less effective this will be. One of the best solutions for off road towing comes from lock and roll hitches in Chicago, Illinois. For my application, I went with the 510 and 511 models. Let's get these installed. Here's a look at the trailer all hitched up. As you can see, it is still nice and level. Should be pretty solid. When you hold a ball hitch and receiver in your hands, you can really feel the limitations in articulation. It only goes so far up, down, left, and right before it starts to bind up, which can be a problem in off-road situations as the trailer is not free to move behind the truck. The lock and roll hitch, on the other hand, has full left and right movement, up and down movement, and can even spin 360 degrees. There's pretty much no way to lock this thing up as it articulates every which way. You could even roll the trailer upside down without affecting the tow vehicle, but I wouldn't suggest doing that. Since the pins fit tight and lock together, you also don't have to worry about a bunch of slop in your connection. The ball hitch has a lot of slop and can bang back and forth and make quite a bit of noise. I would definitely recommend this setup for anyone looking to go off-road with their trailer. I put a few hundred miles on this hitch this weekend of on and off-road and it worked flawlessly. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.